this is one aspect of what what's so difficult to capture in the purely quantitative language of physical science how can we capture these qualities the redness of a red experience in this purely quantitative mathematical language of physical science and in fact well i've written in my in my book galileo's error for example about how the the father of modern science in a way the person who invented physical science galileo back in the 17th century w- was very aware of this and because of this he explicitly defined created designed physical science to exclude consciousness with its mysterious qualities so that everything else could be captured in in purely mathematical quantitative language and that was kind of a good move right that was the start of physical science but it we've sort of forgotten that that whole project was focused on on a on a limited focused subject matter one that excluded consciousness and we now think oh it's gone so well of course it's going to explain consciousness well no it's gone so well because it was designed to exclude consciousness if we now want to bring consciousness fully into the scientific story i think we need to rethink those intellectual foundations bequeathed to us by galileo we need to bring together what galileo separated and i think panpsychism is is one way of doing that